guys, it's Rachel from uh, The Curated Tomato on Instagram and Poshmark at Tomato Cakes. Welcome to the, today's video. Um, I have two things that I'm going to do for you today. First, I packed up a bunch of old stuff and took it to Style Encore to sell. Stuff that I just didn't want to see in my closet anymore and decided I'm done with this. So I packed it up. I got some cash and I got a few other items that I think are much better than what I took. <laughs> um, and so I'm going to do a haul for you with that today. And then I did some sourcing on Poshmark like at midnight. I just got three of the orders in. So I'm going to open those for you. I haven't even opened them yet. I don't know what they're like. I really don't know. So first of all, I'm going to show you what I got at Style Encore. Okay? Let's go. This gorgeous Beholden dress, I have sold it once before. I sold it in black um, in the long length. But this is the Beholden. It's hitherto. It's the gray mesh strapless dress. It has the gross green ribbon tie, and it has, it, this one is knee length. So I was very excited to find that. It's in perfect condition. Um, size zero, if anybody needs a beholden strapless strip. So that was the first thing I found. This one I may keep for myself, just because um, I, I think it's so cute. It's Sophie Rue, which is a brand that's boutiques, and it's sold at Nordstrom as well, I believe. Um, but it's like a floral, like lightweight bomber jacket, and it's really pretty. Okay, I found original Marimekko. This is a striped dress, knit dress, long sleeve, great for springtime. Throw a little denim jacket over that. And your Rothy's, DM me on Instagram if you want a Rothy's code. Get $20 off, uh, and it would be super cute. Um, this is Moth. It's a textured, like, lightweight sweater and um, zip, kind of like a little moto jacket. And it's got pretty, pretty lace detail on the hem. So that one's pretty. Moth is one of the best anthropology brands for me, personally. Um, and so I was excited to find that. This is a Yumi Kim floral, very, very springy. Um, Blouse, it's a silk blouse, it splits open in the back. So, J. Crew um, Lookout High Rise Skinnies, and these are um, fairly recent season, they're from fall 2016, and they are plus size. So, I was excited to find those. They have a raw hem. Last two things I got at Style Encore. I had told myself, stay away from the jeans. They're just going to be American Eagle, which nearly every single one of them were, except for the J. Crew high rise that I found. And then, ah, I found Alexander McQueen coated skinny jeans. Like in my size. I mean, really? My size? Why? Anyway, I like money more than I like wearing fancy jeans like this, so I'm going to sell them. And I usually avoid the purses just because I don't know that much about purses, but this one was so cute. I saw it. It's in perfect condition. It's this adorable blush, patent leather, Zach Posen bag, and it's a crossbody. Um, that will be listed soon. So that's my haul from, Play it, from Style Encore. So. Sourcing on Poshmark. Um, this is, I've done it once a couple of times before. I've gotten some theory items and stuff like that. I was chatting on Instagram with Brad and John. And they were, I was talking to them about the brands that they find for their closet and how difficult it is to find some of those brands here in my town. It's just really, it's just really difficult. The majority of the things I find are Anthropology J. Crew, which there's nothing wrong with that, but I would really like to be able to sell less for more. That's my goal. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to increase my, my ASP. So, like, well, why don't you look on Mercury and Poshmark 
Um, well, they said Mercury. So I went to Poshmark and looked there and I found some things. I have no idea what these are like. <laughs> I really have no idea. So, the prices were great. The brands I was looking for specifically were St. John. It is very difficult for me to find St. John in town. So, I was hoping to be able to bundle things. These are all items that I bundled, I believe. I'm actually not fully sure what I found. But, I found this one closet that have really great prices on stuff. And this is a three piece, wow, this is in perfect condition. It doesn't stink, there's no smoke. It's got those gorgeous St. John buttons. So this is a St. John collection knit jacket, size medium. And it has matching pants, also perfect condition. And a top, a gold top that goes underneath. This one, I'm really not sure what it is that I ordered. Put in a Marshall's bag. The box is really damaged. But, it was carefully wrapped. Okay, so this was a, um, well, it's a little bit better than the picture. Okay, well, this was a, a silk vest, a St. John vest that I liked. Next morning she sent me an offer. Um, so, it, it smells really strongly of perfume, but it's not a bad smell. But it's a silk, like, puffer vest. It's in pretty good condition. I can see there's a couple spots on it that I don't think were mentioned in the listing. That's just, like, a really light wear. But um, they're hidden kind of within the gathers of it. And so it's, it's, not, uh, it's not that bad. It's a newer, I believe, label. He's with that one as well. I think I can flip it for a very good price and make a good profit on that. All right, next box. Oh, they wrapped it in glitter paper. <laughs> That's awful. Glitter is the craft herpes. Oh, but it's got a very nice. Wow, everything is very well packaged. It's got a very nice little card on here that says thank you. Um, this was a, a four-piece bundle that I had purchased. Um, <clears throat> and I uh, got it because of the St. John top, but I also found a couple other pieces that I really liked from this person's closet. So I was um, excited to be able to purchase this. Um, this one came with like a St. John tee. That's kind of basic, but it's got um, very pretty silk, like cryptic chain uh, hem, and it's in really good condition. This is a black top that is ALC, and it's like a linen crop t shirt. And it's got a pretty detail in the back. This is a Free People um, We The Free Moto Jacket that has the double breast, or mo not moto necessarily, military more. has a pretty rough one with that, lace detail. It does have a couple of stains on it, but um, I think I can get those out. And then this one was, I was very surprised to see it in the closet, um, but I really liked it. It's an extra uh, striped black shirt. And I think it's actually men's, but you know, uh, I list a lot of menswear items as women's and just make note in the description that it is a menswear item, but it makes a good, um, you know, a, a good like wearing your boyfriend's shirt or whatever, husband's. Um, anyway, so I thought that this looked very much like Meghan Markle, and I know that according to the Posh Trend Report that Poshmark just listed, that Blue striped shirts were selling very well, so I went ahead and got this one because the price was so good. It's in great condition. That's my haul, both from Style Encore and from Sourcing on Poshmark. Um, do I think it was worth it? Absolutely. Will I do it again? Probably. <laughs> I have, um, like I said, it was like midnight when I ordered this stuff. Probably, don't, don't copy me. 
Um, I have four other things that I'm waiting for them to come. I don't know yet what those will be like, but um, they will hopefully come in the next day or two. I'm excited. I think this is a really good way to um, help support the posh community and re, uh, recycle my earnings. Um, and I don't have to leave my house. And obviously, if it wasn't in the condition described, I would be, you know, hopefully able to return it. Um, but everything was in really great condition. I was very surprised, actually. Anyway, don't forget that you can source online. Um, I have mystery boxes available <laughs> right now. I only have 10, so they're going to go quick. I, I'm trying to actually cut back a little bit. Obviously, I just bought a bunch of stuff. But I had a huge influx of inventory that I just needed to get it out of my office. Because I have, I don't have the time to list. So I have a few mystery boxes for you guys. So feel free to purchase one. They're listed on my Poshmark. Um, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And uh, let me know in the comments if you have ever uh, sourced online. Like on Poshmark or eBay or whatever. And how it works. Thanks guys, see you next time.